when the sun will rise, you will rub your eyes. Like a bird, you leave your warm nest. Softly on wings you'll fly, stars guiding you across the sky. Right in the Milky Way, you'll stop a while to play. Oh, darling, there you are. The little fellow was crying when I got home. You've got to leave him alone sometimes. Remember, we have no staff of servants in this palace. Ah, but we will have. I've just signed my engagement with the Benny Knee Opera Company. Oh, you have? Yeah, I begin as understudy, understudy. and then... It... Isn't that just wonderful? I've just been waiting to hear that. And how long is the engagement this time? Six months, and if... Six months of an understudy salary. Six months more of this. Cheap lodgings, drinking goat's milk and eating spaghetti. You never seem to consider me or the kind of life I'm living. That I'm in a strange country where I can't speak the language. I can't make friends. Oh, I know it's been hard, Alice. And you've been a real sport, but this is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Rosa Donnelly's in the company. Just think what it means to sing with her. I am thinking. What do you mean? Do you think I'm a fool? She asked for you, didn't she? Why, yes, of course, but to her I'm just a voice, something that sings. Oh. Can't make me believe you're jealous of her. You know there's nothing in the world means anything to me but you and Billy. I've heard that ever since we've been in Italy. Well, you can stay here and make the most of this great opportunity. I'm going back to America. Well, now you're talking like a silly child. Come on now, smile. I've got to get back to rehearsal. I just dropped in to tell you the good news. There, that's better. Tonight we'll celebrate, we'll go out for dinner, and we won't have spaghetti.
Well, there goes your show. I'm sorry, boys, but the money for your tickets will have to be used to replace those dishes. That's the fine trapeze performer. Gee whiz. Tanner, that means he sings. I like to sing the trained dogs. Me too, but I don't see what you see in singing. I like singing. He likes to. Yeah, well, you might as well forget it, because you're not going to hear them. Eighteen, please. What I tell you, Mr. Carter, we're going to have a bigger house for tonight. You'd have had a bigger house than that if it hadn't been for some broken dishes. Right, boys? Yeah! You better go backstage past Flowley so she gets started in time. Okay, Mr. Cutter, we'll give him a good shot. <laughs> Well, you got a ticket? No, sir. All right, so no ticket to no show. But listen, mister, I hadn't got any money to buy a ticket. And what do you want me to do about it? I just thought maybe you could fix it. She would like to hear that fella sing. What fellow? You know, uh... Mm. Senor Joseph Pasquale. I bet he's great. Well, then that's a different. Why you no such so before? Come on. <laughs> Sir, from a distant place you see everything. Gee, thanks. It's all right, little fellow. Hey, Pasquale. Great little stage manager you are. My trapeze wasn't set up again. All right, all right. I'll fix it right away. Ah, oh, never mind. I've already done it myself. That's the flying man on the trapeze. Senor Joseph Pasquale? Sure, that's me. All right, Jimmy. How am I ever going to get my back self? Would you mind keeping your mind on what you're doing? Watching the rest of the show, I'll be back later. <laughs> Thank you. 
the next act? The next act? What will I do with it? You'll know. Yes, yeah, the next act. For the next act. Oh, boy, and I did the big semi pro ball once. Are you going to sing now? Me? Sure, I sing. What do you think? Quell'angelica beltà sculta il cuor dell'amor, cancellarsi non potrà il pensier di poter evitar quell'amore, può soffrire il martir se patanna questa. But you don't like my song, huh? Eh? Oh, I guess it was all right. You don't understand. The people like to laugh. Me? I make everybody laugh. Just the same. I'd like to get a hold of that kid who threw that tomato. So would I. <laughs> well, you see me here with the show next to Steve? I sure will. Thanks a lot for letting me in. Ah, that's all right. You run along now. Me, I got a lot to work. Look what that is. Why are you high? Mr. Perkins is here. Mr. Perkins, who's Mr. Perkins? Oh, you're an orphan a kid, huh? Yes. And you sneak out to, to see the show. Yes, you see, I'm in the doghouse. Well, you sneak right back to the doghouse. I was thinking, what I mean is, could I get a job with the show? Watch your talk. You get a job over the show. Are you crazy? No, sir. And you go right home to the orphanage. But I decided I'm through with it. What you mean? You graduated? No. I quit. Well, you quit to right back. Go on. Go on. Go on.
What you doing, Lebesque? Didn't I send you home? I didn't go. Now what you talk? You want to get to me in trouble? You know how far it is to to my little town? No, sir. Well, you go back. How will I get there? How you get there? How you get here? I came with you. Well, you go back alone. Come on. Get the hitchhike. Scoop. Wait a minute. Are you hungry? Oh, no, sir. You mean after you've been hiding in that basket all night, you couldn't eat some ham and eggs? Well... Nice to steak over a hot cake with syrup? Yes, sir! <laughs> and you're not hungry, huh? Come on. Hey, Cookie. Fix this bambino up with some breakfast. Give him everything. He's not hungry. Sure, anything for a friend of yours, Joe. Then you see, he goes home. And that's the time you know hide. You understand English? Yes, sir. Ma stavolta non mi burro. like you and sing like that. <laughs> oh. Who told you to do that? Nobody. Now why you not get to breakfast and go home like I told you? I wanted to stay and help you. Now you take these things back where you found them and then go home. You got to put a good voice, but you got to put a bigger nerve too. Come on. Why they put you in that orphan place? They took me there when my mother died. Oh, poor Bambi. Well, where you get that voice? Did your mama sing? No. Your papa, maybe? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't remember my father. But I know a song he wrote. My mother taught it to me. Maybe he could sing. Yes, but maybe you have some aunt, uh, uncle, cousins. Uh? No. What, no relation? That's a fun, you stay that way. You never have no relation. Now, what's your name anyway? Billy Good. Mr. Pucky. 
Wally. Huh? Could I stay with you? Well, what's the matter with you? Why you want to stay with me? I don't want to be an orphan all my life. <laughs> I don't blame you, but the why you pick on me? I sort of like you. Well, you don't like to the way I sing. Well... Ah, so you admit, huh? Just for that, I'm going to show you something. You finish, Anil, come on. You know, I don't want to sing like to now. I show you where you make a bigger mistake. There. Why, that's you. You bet you that's me. Il Trovatore. Pagliacci. You know, I was a pretty big fellow before I lose my voice. What happened? Oh, that's a big, long story. One day, the voice, she was magnificent. The next day, she no good. La traviata. Is that your wife? No, she's not my wife. She's the great Rosa Donnelli. She's a great singer today. And me, I give her first a bigger chance. She was a little kid then. And she used to say, Joe, you teach me to sing like you? Did you teach her? Sure, and she learned it quicker too. I wonder what she'd think I would Joe Pasquale. She'd see him today. Here's that old fool playing that record again. Why don't he give it a rest? Oh, so you finally got an audience. Hey, Chester, got an invitation to you. Gee, I think that's beautiful. I wish I could sing like that. Well, maybe you could. How would you like me to teach you, huh? You mean it? Well, how I do that? No, that's no good. You forget you gotta go home. I tell you what I do for you. Would you like to see the show again tonight? Sure. All right, I fix. You stay as my guest and friend. But tonight after the show, you gotta go home immediately. Looking for something? Yes, uh, you're with the show, aren't you? You bet. We have a wire from the Mapleton Orphanage asking us to look up a runaway kid. That high little boy, brown eyes with curly hair? Yes, have you seen him? Sure, I see him. Well, where is he? How I know. I saw a little boy like that in Mapleton. He come to show, but I send him home. But if you run across him, let us know, will you? You bet. We know when the runaway kids are on the show. In the right of the elbow? Yeah, kids are a new. Well, that'll cause you a lot of trouble. Hey, Joe? He's gone, isn't he? What'd I do with you? If they catch you now, then old Joe tell a liar, and maybe they put me in jail. I'll go back. How you go? You can't do that in the dark. Maybe I better call the policeman in the back. I'll tell you what I do. Let's see. Um, maybe I'd like to hear you sing one more time. You come along to the next time. Then tomorrow morning, I figure out a good way to send you back ashore.
Billy, one thing you remember, no matter what you sing, sing all the way from Mother Heart. But I thought you were just teaching me head tones. Head tones, chest tones, they're all good, but no tones is like the heart tones. Ready? One, two. We found a song to sing, what is there to cling to? Life wouldn't mean a thing. Say, that kid sure has a swell voice. Hey, that kid can sing at that. Come with the arithmetic. Well, Joe, the answers are all right. Well, how do you know it? I looked in the back of the book. Ah! You're making me so make a sample. And no looking back in the book. Now we'll never know the answers. had our best operatives on this case again. But unfortunately, I can't tell you any more than I could two years ago. It doesn't seem possible. I know just how you feel, Mr. Alba. But your case is one of thousands. If we only knew whether your wife changed her name, this often occurs. Well, she must have. Tell me, isn't there anything more that I can do? I think not, Mr. Alba. I assure you, we're doing everything we can. The moment anything turns up, we'll let you know. Well, thank you again for all your kindness. Good day, sir. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I no, just to think. So many times I say I sent you back, and you're still here. You aren't ever going to send me back now, are you, Joe? Well, me, I guess that they don't care in that often a place. Because uh, you just uh, one more kid and then enough to look out for, huh? I guess so. All right, you go to sleep, huh? Good night, Joe. Good night, kid. <laughs> Can't you go to sleep? Me? I, I just think. What are you thinking about? You know, Billy, I think this is a show business is no good for you. What do you mean? Well, this kind of life is no good for a little fella like you. But, Joe... Never mind, we'll talk about some other time. All right. You do something for me? Sing in that little go-to-sleep song. Maybe I stop thinking and I go to sleep, eh? Okay. Sleep, my little one, sleep, my pretty one, for the sun has come to rest. When the sun will rise, you will... Will you listen to that kid sing? Yeah, Joe's been doing pretty good with him. I've got kind of an idea. And that kid could fit right into my plan. What plan, Jim? He doesn't belong to Joe, does he? What rights Pasquale got hauling him all over the country? A kid with a voice like that ought to be with somebody that can give him a chance. 
And I suppose you're just the guy. Sure. That ought to make a pretty good act, Marge. Me and that kid and you. Hey, what do you have to do to adopt a kid? I should feel elated. I'm not. Still no news, eh? How two people could disappear so completely from the face of the earth? That I'll never understand. When you're on this concert tour, your name will be published everywhere. Your wife is bound to hear of you. And if she's had a change of heart, she'll come back to you. I wish I could believe that. Miss Donnelly, Mr. Jackson. Oh, have her come in. Rosa Donnelly? Yes. They are. Rosa. <laughs> Why didn't you let me know? Oh, well, I thought it'd be a nice surprise. Nice? It's marvelous. Oh, how well you're looking. Come on, tell me about yourself. <clears throat> if you two people will excuse me, I think I'll give this to my secretary. And how does it feel to be a famous opera singer? You should know, Rosa. Do they still remember me and yours? They never forget their favorites. Well, you haven't done so badly for yourself. What are you playing? Jackson's arranging a concert tour for me. But about you, Rosa. Married yet? Hmm. To my career. And believe me, my friend, it's more demanding than a husband. <laughs> but never mind me. How long have you been in New York? Three or four days. Three or four days and you haven't looked me up. Well... As a matter of fact, Rosa, I thought I'd located Alice and Billy. I understand. Think that what would have brought happiness to all of you should have been the cause of your separation. <laughs> Billy, just a little more staccato. Oh, Billy, I've been thinking. I got a big idea. As soon as the show business gets good and Mr. Carter pays me back the money, I take you away. Maybe we go to New York. Gee, I'd like to see New York. Hey, I get you a nicer place to live. I teach you some more. I make lots of money by teaching other people to sing. I'll even send you to nicer school. You sure are good to me, Joe. You're good to me, too. You make me feel like the old Joe, full of ambition. Andiamo! <laughs> Even the birds will fly away when I sing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ever since we started on this tour, you've been passing out nickels and dimes. Now, you promised me my dough today. And if you don't shell out what you owe me now, there'll be no show tonight. Oh, why can't you be sensible, Diablo? Everybody else is willing to wait, aren't you, folks? No, they're not. We're all leaving. What do you mean, a wing? What you people are gonna do if you quit? Are you gonna get your back a pay? Me, I need the back a pay very much. We all in the same boat. A new rocket. Mr. Carter is a fine fella. He pay us for put his own. He gives us a nice food. Do we got a fine cook? Food's okay. As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to get out. I think Joe's right. Now listen, if the Star Act blows this show, the whole outfit's gonna fold up. What do you mean? We got a seven act just as good as yours. What you do? You take up for 15 minutes, huh? All right, we take up for 15 minutes. So what? You know what I'm gonna do? Now, you wait and see, I'm gonna do it. Ah, come on, boys, let's get out of here. <laughs> you 
You stick a by Mr. Carter and you know be sorry. Mr. Carter give you the back of money, sure. What's the idea of the grandstand place? I mean it, we're through. Yeah? Then answer this one. How are we going to eat? There's our meal ticket from now on. And I know you're going to please me. Well, I hope so, but I can't help feeling a little nervous. Uh -huh. We know I have a very many people out the front, so you no need to have a statue fry. All right, Joe, but you sort of stand near me. Uh, sure, sure. What do you think? I'll be standing right where you can see me. I'll be watching you all the time. I'm not come to death. And remember, sing like Joe Wesso told you. From the heart. Waiting for someone? What do you care? You're on in five minutes, Billy. Gee, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Be calm like me. Ouch! Grant me, brother, but one prayer. If I now my hours must number. Take with me my corpse to my own native land. In France, let me peacefully slumber. Then will I listen and lie so still and not thank God all the forces. Until the roaring of pan and I hear and the tramping of pain forces. My grave will my emperor ride While softly, brightly, and rattle While softly, brightly, and rattle And on to the teeth will I rise from my grave For my emperor, my emperor to
I'm gone. The way we've been, uh, maybe in about two, two, three days, uh, we've been in New York. You wait, you see the bigger building, the subway, the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, even uh, when you see it, you won't believe it. Let's hurry, Joe. <laughs> lunch really quick. Cup of coffee for myself. Dog, 
That's the one final voice. Hey, can't you get anything out of that radio with that squawking? That's a lot of squawk, that's a beautiful. just been listening to the Symphony Hour coming to you through the Standard Network in New York. Our guest artist for today was the world-famous prima donna, Miss Rosa Donnelly. Donnelly! Do you know who that is? That's the girl that you taught to was my wife. That's the bambine I taught her to sing. And the man in the red, he says she's in New York. <laughs> That's the people you should know. That's the way you belong. I wonder what she think of a job as father now. I don't feel sorry, Joe. Buster! Ah, he always gets his man. Buster got on the trail of that kid and that Italian crook. What a coat. I am a bigger, stronger man. I'm used to all kinds of work. You little bambi. Doctor must be a crazy man. He wants to make him believe I am a sick. I feel fine. What she said? A hundred and forty. Oh, good. I must have been getting much better. Just the same, you have to take your medicine. How do you feel about all this, Billy? About what? About to uh, running away with me. What do you think? If I was with Diablo, I couldn't be taking care of you. <laughs> Why you make of a face? You not drink of this. You feel much better now, Joe? Oh, much better. You know, Billy Boy, it's too bad they will leave Mr. Carter in the lurch. He should put a nicer fella. If you answer my letter, he say he's gonna send all my things. <laughs> but you know, one thing I can understand, the why my friend the Rosa not come. You think maybe the men at the radio station have forget to give her the message? Gee, I don't know. Maybe he couldn't read my writing. I don't understand. Gee, that's 
must be her now. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning, little man. How's the patient today? Oh, he's much better, Doctor. Mm -hmm. His temperature's only 140. He really is a very sick man, Doctor. He needs more attention than I can give him here. Well, I think he should be sent to the hospital. Mm. Hospital? Don't worry. We'll take good care of him there. Where do you think you're going? I want to see Rosa to know. Got a card? No. Can't go in there, son. The door's locked from the inside. <clears throat> this is the first number, Rosa. Oh, yes. Uh, Probably some kid looking for an autograph. I'll get rid of him. No, no, no. Let him come in. We'll see what he wants. Hello there, young man. Joe's awful sick. Joe? Yes, you know. Your old friend, Joe Pasquale, the great singer. Joe Pasquale, here. And sick. Where is he? They're going to kill him, Pop. They're sending him to the hospital. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Joe! Bambino, I thought you were gone. Where you been? Joe. Rosa, my Bambino, come back. Joseph Pasquale, what are you doing out of bed? Rosa, Get right back into it. Sir, are you like my Bambino? He's been nice, a boy. Joseph, how lovely. Certainly he's a fine little man. You wait till you hear him sing. <laughs> you won't take him to the hospital, will you? You bet we won't. I'm going to take you to my house, and we'll take care of him together. Thank you, miss. Why, Mr. Pasquale left here two weeks ago. You know where he went? I've got something for him. Yes. Yeah. He's stopping at the home of Rosa Donnelly. Rosa Donnelly? Is the kid with him? I guess so. They left together. All right. Let's go to Donnelly's house. Yeah. Thanks very much. It looks like your party is going to be a great success. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm so glad you Well, come. Leon! Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Chicago. You're singing tomorrow night. Oh, you forget they have airplanes these days. I just came in to be with Rose. How do I look? 
swell. Well, come on, come on. Why can't I go down and hear the music, Joe? I told you before, this is a not for little boy. That's for grown-up people. Now, come on and go to sleep. But I'm sure there's going to be singing and ice cream. I tell you what I do for you. I compromise. Maybe for a little while, I'll leave with the door open so you can hear the music. But don't you get off out of bed, huh? All right, Joe. I won't. Good night, Mr. Bambino. Good night, Joe. I'm so glad you could come, Leon. After having been away for weeks, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> oh, Joe. Mr. Aldo, Senor Joseph Pasquale. It's a privilege. I've heard about you, Senor Pasquale. I'm glad to know you. It's a privilege to know you too, Mr. Alba. <laughs> it is a privilege. <laughs> By the papers that freedom is at stake And all the farmer has to do Is sit and belly ache Well, you've all been having your way Now it's time that I must say and must say I'm coming out of my shell I'm the farmer in the dell I've got Seventy acres with the mortgage all in view. But I'm doing the work. I never shirk a feeding you. With sun and rain on the earth, the right of all men given to him by birth. I'll feed you, I'm here to tell. I'm the farmer in the dell. The farm, how it needs you. You left it, but the farm still feeds you. You borrow in millions. Your children will pay in billions. You're all holding powwows. Things are going to the powwows. It's time to come back to the farm. They say, off in the city, smokes are starving in the street. Then you say I'm forbid from raising things for folks to eat. I've got a farm and a plow, and nobody's going to stop me now. I'll plow in spite of all. I hold the dairy oh, I hold the dairy oh, I hold the dairy oh. I'm the farmer in the. If you care to hear another song, I should like to ask the privilege of singing a very simple little melody. It's just a lullaby, but one that's very dear to me. You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you, Joe? Oh, you know I was... That's sing. all right. Where's Billy? I know you've got him here, and you know he belongs to me because I told you so. I don't know what you're talking sleep about. my little one, sleep my pretty one, for the sun has gone to rest. When the sun will rise, you will rub your eyes like a bird. You'll leave you wait a minute, I'll be right back. Huh? You better go around and guard the back. Be sure he doesn't get away. Right. Billy, 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 Billy. What's the matter, Joe? Sleep, my little one. Sleep, my pretty one. Place your head on my arm. Though the world give me a little foot. You sleep in peace. I shall keep you safe. From all harm, go to rest on my breast. Bambino, you sing it now. 
room with a heart till I could jewel where she told you, huh? is? Why, that's her. And you. That's right. And that lullaby you sang, I wrote it for a little boy when he was just a tiny baby. You're that little boy. I'm your... Yes. I'm your father. Pleased to meet you. What is all this, a gag? I'd just like to speak to you for just one minute, my friend. What? You know, Diablo, I always like you. And I don't care what anybody say, I think you're nice about it. Yeah? I know you feel a bit about the kid that's father showing up, but you get over it all right, I am sure. That's so. Now, my friend, I'd like you to do me just one little favor. Get out and stay out! 